Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at the 20 weirdest ways to play Doom. Have you ever checked out the Will It Run Doom memes in subreddit? Fascinating stuff on there, and after someone programmed a McDonald's kiosk to run Doom, we got curious. What are the weirdest ways you've seen people play the legendary FPS? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Minecraft. Ever wanted to play a game without leaving your current one? Well, Minecraft can become even more meta thanks to Redditor Delta2 Force. With their Minecraft mod, you can order your own computer parts, install Windows 95, and yes, run Doom. No more going outside in the virtual world, finally! World Cubes. Yeah, remember World Cubes? You know, the digital blocks with the digital dudes inside? Yeah, somehow those ancient toys can run Doom. One user named Queen Whiskey, I love it, made a post asking how many World Cubes it would take to run the game. User Jamie Soon replied with a photo of 12. 12 World Cubes to run Doom. Does it run? Most likely. Is it playable? Mmm. Not at half a screen, it isn't. The Domino's app. It's interesting to see if other software programs can run Doom just with their own coding and use of different programming engines. Imgur user Dylan PDX somehow found a way to use the Domino's Pizza app to run Doom. Unfortunately, it isn't exactly playable. Loading takes forever, and the app crashes after a very short moment. So sad. Chandler's Laptop Remember the episode of Friends where Chandler gets a new laptop and becomes obsessed with it? Surely something that ancient can't run Doom. And yet, it does. Redditor, the elusive guy, managed to find the same exact laptop and fixed it up just so he can see for himself. And it does run Doom albeit barely above the recommended specs. But hey, it can. A voting machine. To those of you in the US, it is your patriotic duty to play Doom at least once in your American lives. If you don't have a computer, then maybe you can find your local voting center and borrow one, hack it, and install Doom on it. That's what some Las Vegas hackers did in 2019, so it is possible. A vape pen. We can imagine the UAC and Hell's Domain being clouded in smoke, but not in this way. Redditor JustBobbySR somehow programmed Doom into their vape pen. Doesn't exactly seem like an ideal way to play though. Can you even see past the HUD? Who knows? This just looks weird though. A Polycom office telephone. Some days can feel like a drag. Best way to kill time? Play Doom in the office! But what to do if your work monitors computer activity? Easy! Does the office phone have a screen? If so, it can most likely run Doom. Twitter user at Neil Bostian got the game running on a Polycom office phone. And yes, it is playable. A Bluetooth LE dongle. Admittedly, this one might be a little more complicated, but it is possible to get Doom running off of a single Bluetooth LE dongle. Of course, you will need more parts to complete the setup, but follow Redditor Next Hack's blueprint here, and you can slay demons on an incredibly small screen. A price scanner. Okay, so maybe the office phone isn't the most inconspicuous way to play Doom at work. So if you got a price scanner, this might be your best method. I mean, it isn't exactly the most visually appealing, but you'll fly under the boss's radar if you can make it look like you're working. Just take it from this Redditor, Discate, who managed to get Doom working on a price scanner. It looks kind of not playable, but I'm sure it is. A text-based terminal. Speaking of visually unappealing screens, a text-based terminal isn't an ideal way to run just about any program. But if you want another layer of challenge, get yourself a text-based terminal and get Doom installed on it like Redditor Wajtech Garage did. Surprisingly, it works rather well, just maybe try and stay out of dark areas if possible. A 
pregnancy test. This is arguably the most famous example of getting Doom to run on just about anything. If you're aware of Twitter user Foon, you probably remember the time he got the opening to Skyrim to play on a pregnancy test. That's no joke, he, he actually did it. Well, in 2020, he achieved the impossible, getting Doom to run on a pregnancy test and make it playable. This, this is forever going to be his magnum opus. You have paid your debt to society. A leapfrog toy. Kids today will never understand the power they hold. Leapfrogs have become so much more powerful than they were in the days of Game Boys and Neo Geo Go's and, and uh, Video Now's. So with modern tech, we face the age old question. Will it run Doom? Short answer, yes. In 2016, one Jared Triptow hacked a Leapfrog Ultra and installed Doom complete with cheat codes and even custom WAD support. That just blows my mind, personally. But not as much as our next entry. Crabs. Yeah, you could totally play Doom with live crabs. But this method lives on only in theory. See, one professor, Ethan Mollick, brought to light a 2011 study that discovered how soldier crabs could be used to create organic logic gates. However, you would need 80 crabs to operate one logic gate. After some number crunching, Twitter user Normal Horoscopes pointed out you would need 16,039,018,500 soldier crabs to run Doom. Now, who's gonna be the first to pull this off? A kitchen controller. This Does Not Compute is a remarkable YouTube channel where host Colin discusses all kinds of different subjects you tech geeks might like. I honest, I personally recommend you guys and go and check out the channel. It's pretty amazing stuff. One of the coolest things he's done is get Doom running on a kitchen controller, specifically the keypad you see below monitors in restaurant kitchens. We'll spare you the details. Go check out his meaty video about it. It's like 25 minutes long and he goes into great detail about it. I mean, granted, it, it sucks that there's no music or real good sound effects or anything, but the frame rate seems to be, you know, surprisingly high, like just moving around and everything. It's your web browser. It's not much of a surprise that you can run classic Doom through your web browser. It doesn't take much power to do so. But did you know you can play Doom 3 through your web browser? Hell yeah, we tried it for ourselves too, and we got consistent 60 frames per second in high resolution on Microsoft Edge. It's like we booted the game straight off of Steam, it's that good, you should go check it out for yourself. Here's the link right here in the corner. A lamp from Ikea. Ikea makes some good stuff, but we weren't anticipating we'd step into home furniture when talking about Doom. And yet, it is possible to grab one of IKEA's smart lamps and rig it to run an ancient FPS. And it was all made possible by one Nikola Rachian, and it only cost him a measly 15 bucks to make. A calculator, and 770 potatoes. If you got a TI-84 calculator and 700 moldy potatoes just laying around, well you got a free copy of Doom waiting for you, man. YouTuber Equalo discovered a way to get Doom on a calculator powered by gross, moldy, three-day-old spuds. How did he do it? Well, why don't you go check it out and show him some love. It's, it's an entertaining video. Now that it was on here, I was ready to give this a try. Twitter. We can all admit that Twitter is a cesspool, unless you're following us, wink wink, or following me on Twitter at SpectreBull, wink wink. But the best thing we've seen on the platform is tweet to doom and that's the number two by replying to this bot with commands the bot will generate a video showing your gameplay and what your commands did it's honestly an incredibly impressive thing we've seen from the social media platform and it's probably the best thing the social media platform has ever given us and it ever will a lego brick unfortunately this isn't what you think exactly a Lego brick didn't power Doom, but we got something close to that. James Brown, not that one, got a tiny screen and wired it to a Lego brick. So now you can make it look like your minifigures are playing Doom. As they always should be. And lastly, Doom itself. We all know you can play Doom and Doom Eternal, 
but it is possible to play Doom within Doom. With a mod called GZ Doom, YouTuber the Zombie Killer made it possible to play a limited version of Doom within Doom. Brothers and sisters, we have witnessed the truth. We must spread it to the non-believers. Go forth and show the world it must experience all that is Doom. Buy them Doom and then show them how to play Doom within Doom. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.